Hi there! In this demonstration, I'm going to walk you through the VFAIR's virtual open day platform and share with you how it can help universities with their marketing objectives. The goal of the virtual open day is to enable universities to market and promote themselves to prospective students across the world. It's an opportunity to educate them about the university degrees, programs, faculty, culture, and values. Virtual Open Days enable your admissions office and ambassadors in your alumni to engage with students and parents and talk about life at your university, admission procedures, and generally what to expect. All right, so let's get started. First off, let's talk about where your virtual Open Day will take place. What will the event URL look like? We support two options here. You can host the event on our VFAIR subdomain, for example, universitynamevfairs.com. Or alternatively, you can host the event on any custom subdomain of your liking, for example, openday.universitynamev.com. We offer both options. Once you have the event URL sorted, the next question is, how do you get prospective students and parents to learn more about your virtual open day? For this, we work with you to set up the landing page for your virtual event. The landing page is branded with your university's logo. It has the title of the open day and of course, the date and time of the event. The landing page can display all sorts of information about your event, like an event description, agenda of the event, details about the programs you are offering, and even an FAQ section. You can add any kind of content here, and we're happy to work with you to build a page that best promotes your university and your open day. Next up, how will your prospective students and attendees register for the virtual open day? For this, we set up a custom registration form for you. The fields on the registration form are completely configurable. This could be basic information, like first name, last name, email address, phone number, etc. Or you can capture more interesting data, like degree of interest, academic area, GMAT scores, link to their resume, their past GPA, and so on. All right, so till now, we talked about how you can set up a configurable landing page and a registration form. Next up, let's talk about the user experience that prospective students would have when they log in to your event. One thing that stands out about the VFAIR's virtual open day platform is that it is visually rich throughout. So, to make a great impression on incoming attendees, some universities prefer playing an animated approach to a 3D model of their actual campus building, like we did here for UMGC, with Yale, ECU, and many more. After prospective students log in and enter the event, they land in what we call the virtual lobby. We have a number of design templates for the virtual lobby that you can select from our library. The virtual lobby acts as a navigational map for your event. Now, you can pick a standard lobby design from our library of templates and simply let us know what logos, visuals, and banners you'd like to replace. And here's an example of a standard lobby design that we implemented for Harvard University. Or you can opt for a custom design lobby. Some customers want to deliver a very unique experience and request us to build a bespoke visual like this one that we designed for Bard College. Here, you can see an aerial view of their university campus with markers that help students jump straight into their area of interest. Isn't that exciting? So, let's show you around one of our lobbies and further walk you through the more interactive parts of the event. First off, prospective students can visit an area known as the Exhibit Hall. The booths in the Exhibit Hall can be categorized in any way you'd like. The booths could represent various departments or schools at your university or the various degrees you have to offer. Some universities also include a separate floor of booths dedicated to support services like housing, financial aid, scholarships, career services, and so on. So there are several ways you can go about structuring your exhibit hall area, and we'd be happy to discuss various models that might suit your particular open day. 
Now, as far as the virtual hall design is concerned, we have two options available based on your unique needs. We can display the virtual hall in a horizontal format, where attendees will be able to scroll left or right to access the various booths. Or, you can opt for the overhead aerial view, where attendees can quickly jump into the booth of their liking with a single click. Prospective students can click on a booth and learn more about that degree or program by accessing the various content tabs posted within it. For example, they can go through the program description, listen to relevant podcasts or audio, watch uploaded videos, and browse through documents like presentations, flyers, and brochures. If any of your attendees find a document or piece of content useful, they can save it to their virtual briefcase or swag bag. This helps them store documents of interest for future reference. And these saved documents are later emailed to the attendee at the end of the event. And since you don't have to print out anything, it keeps the event clean and eco-friendly. Some customers prefer giving prospective students a window into their campus life. To do this, they ask us to upload large photo galleries, where sometimes they even provide us with 360-degree photos that we can embed in the virtual event for them. Like in this example here, the university asked us to host an interactive image that outlines the atmosphere in their campus library. This helps prospects visualize what it would be like to actually be there. Such visual tours and images really go a long way to excite prospects. It can affect their decision to apply and even choose one university over another. All right, now let's talk about how prospective students and parents will be able to interact with your admissions team or alumni. On every virtual booth, you can host a link to the live chat interface. In our live chat module, students have two options. Number one, they can enter the group chat room for the booth, which again, might be a department or a program. Here, they can post questions to a public chat room. On the other hand, your representatives will be able to review these questions and post responses to the entire group for everyone's benefit using the text bar at the bottom. Number two, students can click on a representative's profile and launch a private one-to-one -one conversation with them. This opens up a separate chat under the direct messages section. In this case, attendees have three interaction options. They can chat via the text bar, or they can have an audio call, or they can even start a video conversation. We provide all three options. While your reps are having conversations with prospective students, they will also be able to review their registration profile on the site including things like contact information and program preferences. This helps your rep develop some contacts and tailor their pitch as a university rep. You will also be able to add notes to the profiles so that you can document the highlights of your conversation. Moreover, you can add labels or tags to a profile and search using those filters later on. For example, you can add a tag to indicate students you'd like to send a follow-up to. These chat logs, notes, and tags will be made available to you in the form of a CSV file after the event is over to allow you to store them for future reference. To sum up, we allow universities and students to interact through group chat and private chat. In the case of private chat, we offer text, audio, and video chat options. So, that was all about the exhibit hall and the chat interface. Let's talk about the virtual auditorium room now. The virtual auditorium is where you as a university set the stage for the event by delivering live webinars. So you could schedule, let's say, a couple of sessions where you generate more excitement about your university by talking about your faculty programs, support services, campus life, and so on. There are two ways you can go around this. Number one, you can conduct a live webinar where the presenter is broadcasting in real time with a webcam or walking through a presentation. The audience can then ask questions through a live Q&A chat box. Option two, you can also upload pre-recorded webinars which are played for your audience at a specific time. Then, 
You can choose to have a live Q&A chat box alongside it so that your representatives can answer incoming questions in real time. That was a bit about the virtual auditorium. Now, let's talk a little bit about the information desk. This is essentially a virtual help desk booth that you as an event organizer can host. So prospective students can come over here and ask you questions about the event in general or information about a particular program. Alongside that, we, as in VFairs, provide live technical support throughout the virtual open day. If any of your attendees are facing technical difficulties, they can reach out to our team through either a help desk email, a dedicated phone line, or use our live chat facility to talk to any one of our reps for further assistance. Side note, the virtual open day platform also has accessibility features built in to help people with special needs. For example, they'll be able to change the font size, adjust the contrast, use text-to-speech controls, and so on. These tools will enable them to consume information with ease. I'd also like to add that the VFair's virtual open day platform is mobile friendly and can be accessed through a smartphone, tablet, or desktop. Students or parents can use any modern browser and can experience the virtual event without any issues. Finally, a bit about reporting. We offer a real-time reporting dashboard, which allows you to see various metrics like attendance, engagement with webinars, chat conversations, downloads, and so on. This reporting panel helps you understand how effective your open day's content was and how much engagement you generally received. Moreover, after the event is over, we can even prepare a detailed report that carries a summary of all these metrics along with the raw data to help you understand your ROI. That rounds up all the features of the virtual open day platform. I'd also like to spend a minute on the process. What exactly happens once you sign up? The first thing that we're gonna do is assign you a dedicated event manager who will manage the end-to-end -end process on your behalf. The event manager will set up weekly calls to share status updates on the progress of your event and look at your requirements. They'll get your requirements for the landing page, registration form, virtual lobby, exhibitor boots, and so on to get that set up for you. For VFairs, the idea is not just to provide you with rock-solid technology, but also ensure that you run a successful virtual open day by acting as your consultants. There are hundreds of universities that have used our platform before. This includes the likes of UMGC, Newcastle University, Yale University, University of Calgary, Princeton University, and many, many more. Please feel free to jump on to Captera or G2 to see their reviews on our technology and post-sales support. We're also happy to give you any of those references in case you want to reach out. And that's it from my side. I hope this demo was useful and it gave you an idea of what VFairs can do for you. If you have any further questions, please feel free to reach out to us on sales at vfairs.com. Thank you so much for watching.